We interrupt your regularly scheduled program for this break. Scoop news. Walker, fearless reporter. This is Scoop Walker, live. Gallery furniture fire. We are the. It must have drugs in it. We're going willing to go into the face of danger. Well, here we are at this Kroger today, and we're just. Good evening. Scoop Walker here, investigative reporter on location in the Richmond Rosenberg area. I'm at the home of Greg and Nikki Holmes because our sources tell us that despite these difficult times, despite the economic woes, despite the wars in the Middle East and the cholera outbreak in Haiti, and yes, despite the fact that there could be another Rocky movie released in the near future, the group behind me claims to have thankful hearts. As if. But fear not. I, Scoop Walker, am here to reveal the deep, dark truth. Hello. With me tonight, I have Nikki Holmes, mom, wife, and elementary counselor. Her husband, Greg, and her are leaders of this group. So, Mrs. Holmes, it says here that your group, even in the face of all this despair and, and death around us, this group of demented disciples manages to have thankful hearts? Well, I wouldn't call them disciples, and certainly not demented, but, I mean, we're just a group of regular people who have found a reason to be thankful for life. So you're delusional? No. What other explanation can there be? Like, I, like it says here, you're, you're an elementary counselor. Surely dealing with these bratty, obnoxious kids day in, day out has to wear on you. Well, I mean, yes, my job has some challenges, but I mean, especially after seeing what the kids go through, I'm really able to see all that God has done for me. So the key to thankfulness is having what others don't have? I didn't say that. Do you think that you're better than all these other people? No! Does God, so God loves you more than all these other people too, huh? No! What is the point, Mrs. Holmes? Well, I mean... My life's not perfect. I mean, we have troubles and struggles just like anybody else. But I would hope that I can, the point is that I'm able to recognize all that God has done for me. And I hope that if something terrible did happen, I would still be able to find thankfulness in the midst of that. So, you and your husband are having marital problems. Is that what you're saying? No! He doesn't quite do it for you. Is that it? Well, let's go in here and investigate. Let's, let's meet some of the people you have here in your group. Let's see what some of these other people have to say in this cult. How are you doing this evening, sir? Tell me, are you thankful today? Yeah, I'm thankful. I know God's love, and I know that despite whatever happens to me, the Spirit is going to be with me. Uh-huh. So, your life is perfect? Or are you having marital problems like the Holmes is also? We're not having any marital problems. Tell him, Greg. No, no problem. Yeah, no, my life's not perfect. I mean, in fact, just a couple of months ago, I lost my job, and the options for what I do just they're limited. So, no, my life's not perfect. So then, why are you thankful? Because I know God's in charge, and whatever happens to me, He's going to be there. I see. Vodka. That's not vodka, it's water. Sure it is. And what about you, sir? Uh, I'm not going to answer your questions. You've been twisting our words all night long. The truth hurts, doesn't it? When your psychotic, delusional thoughts or beliefs are challenged. Look, I think it's time for you to leave. Hey, got a little close to the real truth behind your thankfulness and... What is this? This isn't potpourri. This is some sort of This is some sort of narcotic, some sort of some sort of drug that y'all were going to smash up and snort or smoke or something, wasn't it? Yeah, whatever. Hey, they why are y'all doing this? I mean, this is investigative objective journalism trying to get to the truth of the bottom of your thankful hearts. So this is what happens when your truth is revealed and objective reporting and truth telling is in is in progress, isn't it? I guess I'm supposed to be thankful. Scoop Walker here, investigative journalist. Good night.